My name is Greg Dewey. I'm the president of Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, and I want to welcome you to this segment of Dialogues with Dewey. Today we're going to be talking about student-operated pharmacies. Recently, Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences has opened a student-operated pharmacy in Schenectady at the Hometown Health Centers on State Street. This pharmacy allows our students to experience firsthand what it is like to run a pharmacy, but also what it is like to serve a medically disadvantaged area. With me today is Rob DiCenzo, Dean of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, and one of our students, pharmacy students, Lewis Aller. Welcome. So, Rob, let me ask you the first question. What do you see as the educational opportunities that the uh, College Hometown Pharmacy, the name of our pharmacy, provides our students? Well, I think it really positions them well to graduate as leaders in team-based, patient-centered pharmacy care and really have an impact in their communities. Being part of the community, it allows us to not only educate our pharmacists on how to help improve the health care of patients, but uh, other aspects like diversity and cultural awareness. Um, it also gives us an opportunity to run other innovative uh, educational services. As you know, our students spend about a third of their time outside of the classroom, so we can use this as a test kitchen to develop new services and also new ways of teaching our students when they're in a community pharmacy, and then that can spread out through all the other uh, educational or community pharmacies that they have an opportunity to do rotations in. It's really multidimensional, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, Lewis, you were one of the first uh, students to get involved with the, the pharmacy. You were there on, on day one when they opened the door. And uh, so what, why, what attracted you to, to working at this uh, student pharmacy? Well, as a student, I thought it would be a unique experience to work, um, first and foremost, in a professional setting um, and be very hands-on working in a clinic um, with, with physicians and with practitioners and being able to engage in some more collaborative care, um, being in that clinic setting at that pharmacy. So I thought that'd be a unique so, so what was like day one when we were just setting up? It was probably a little chaotic. It was a bit chaotic. I got to see the soft opening, so I helped them with everything from setting up shelves to calling IT, the IT office to set up um, phone lines and get patients, we were filling scripts and patients were coming in and needed to be counseled. So there was definitely a lot going on at, at one time. So here we are, uh, a pharmacy embedded in a, uh, a house clinic. Uh, how do you, Rob, how do you see that uh, advancing the scope of pharmacy? Well, as you know, right now, a pharmacy practice is trying to be recognized as a provider or achieve provider status. So, um, and that looks like it will be, will be coming soon. So I, I think that uh, this the innovative services, whether it's point of care, testing, uh, increasing uh, patient education in a number of different disease states, whether it's diabetes, uh, hyperlipidemia, um, and being able to really uh, learn things that we maybe can't teach in the classroom, like innovation and how to be an entrepreneur. Um, I think that all those things put together um, will allow our profession to be positioned well as we move away from fee-for-service to uh, fee-for-value healthcare systems and as we gain provider status as a profession. Yeah, there's a real primary care crisis in this, in this country and uh, pharmacists are a great untapped resource. So, Lewis, so let me ask you, um, what impact will this experience have on your career? You, you're um, getting near the end of your studies. Uh, you have one more year to go. Uh, where do you see yourself going and, and how did this experience influence you? Well, personally, my goal is to, uh, to own my own independent pharmacy. So this experience has been tr of tremendous value to me in learning how to work with, um, with other healthcare practitioners and serve a community and learning how to engage in more collaborative care and work in an underserved community and some of the different um, nuances of and issues that they have in underserved communities. So moving forward, I'm going to take the experience with me to rotations and to my practice after that moving forward. So Rob, can you tell us how other students can get involved in the student pharmacy? Well, in addition to taking courses that are, are 
woven into the student pharmacy, like the, the, ro the rotations, the experiential education part of the program. There's going to be other co-curricular activities they can become involved with, different events that will really give them a chance to, again, understand the needs of the community and then take that with them as graduates so they can, uh, those skills, w whether it has to do with uh, diversity or cultural awareness, um, can be applied in whatever practice that they move to, whether it's primary care, um, in a hospital, in a long-term care situation. I think that'll become a foundation of something they can, they can really build off of in their careers. Now we, at these student pharmacies, we have a different type of personnel. Normally we have pharmacy practice faculty working with the students, but we have licensed pharmacists that we've hired and the students are, are working side by side with the licensed pharmacists. So Lewis, how did you find that experience? You're, you're not working with the faculty, but a licensed pharmacist instead. Well, certainly a different experience. I was getting to see um, how real life pharmacists handle issues that arrive in real time and it's a lot of troubleshooting and problem solving. So I got to see an experience that was very, very real and very, very genuine mm -hmm. and separate from the classroom setting, so I thought it was, I thought it was valuable. Okay. Well, the Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences plans to open up a second uh, student-operated pharmacy. It will be in the south end of Albany. Uh, we plan to open that up um, probably uh, in this fall of uh, 2016. So we'll have more, more opportunities for, for students. So thank you, Rob. Thank you, Lewis, uh, for joining me today on Dialogues with Dewey. I hope you found this segment informative, and I'll see you next time. <music>